Welcome to Corona Hotel in Blackpool. A wingoa, a wingoa, a wingoa in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. We are here at the Corona Hotel on Clifton Drive. I had to remember where I was then. And um, we're literally just a stone's throw from the Pleasure Beach. You can see the big one just, just there. So, fantastic location. So, before we do an before we go and have a tour around the hotel, I'm just going to give you a little bit of information. So this is a dog friendly hotel for small and medium dogs, but that is for phone bookings only. If you book on the website or booking.com and then you turn up with your little doggy, you're not getting in. So phone bookings only. Um, coach parties and groups are also accepted here but again it's phone bookings only for that ring up and then they can tailor to your needs prices start from 88 pounds for a double room and that's b and b and you get your parking included and these are all direct bookings by the way not booking.com uh, 75 pounds for a double compact budget room £111 for a deluxe room but in the deluxe you get your bathrobe and your slippers, chocolates and daily mineral water and parking. Uh, regarding parking there is only six spaces so first come first served. They are open from March right through to New Year so you can come here over Christmas. Hey. Um, and I think that's all the info there. Uh, so regarding uh, dietary needs, they will cover dietary needs, but you do need to telephone them if you're gluten free or you're vegan or anything like that. Give them a call and speak to them and they will, you know, sort something out. So here is a menu. So an example, they have an American breakfast. Pancakes, grilled smoked bacon, scrambled eggs and a pot of maple syrup on the side. Nah, no, that's not nice. Ooh. Now, I don't want to offend anybody, but I... It, uh, how How is syrup? How does it go with meat? No, does it, does it go with meat? But we put beans on toast and they say that's weird. Good point, good point. Do you know what? I'm going to have to try it one day. I'm going to get... I'm going to whip out some vegan bacon and pour on some syrup and give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they do Scottish kippers, they do mushroom benedict, they do children's full English uh, and yeah, you know what, first impressions, these two walked into the uh, conservatory type area and they both went, oh wow, so that's a good start to the video yeah. isn't it, yeah, let's go and have a look around Corona Hotel. So this is the lounge area, oh look at this little section here to the cute little doggy called Reese who obviously is no longer here you smiled with uh, your eyes laughed with your tail and loved with your heart oh that's adorable lovely fire isn't that beautiful got lots of certificates here up on the wall that's good to see isn't it and again this is very impressive they have an honesty jar here for hot chocolate, bovril biscuits and flapjacks. But the um, tea and coffee is free. Now when you see an honesty jar, you know that the clientele is clearly very nice. Yeah? Let's go through here, guys. The hallway has got lots and lots of leaflets of things to do oh look there's elizabeth and craig like they, the are they are fantastic really good the ice skating arena club 3000 this one i've not been in yet Ooh. kings and queens fantastic if you're wanting a, an evening out here in Blackpool and you want some brilliant entertainment, check out these guys. They are legendary. So just here is El Patio. I like this. 
You right there? Yeah. You're relaxing. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice and bright and I think it's got a very comfy, cosy feel to it. What do you think, Mark? Yeah, it's really nice. Like, well, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look the same as other hotels. Like, this is different to others. It's quite nice. Yeah, they've done a, a cracking job, I think. I love all the plants and flowers that, that they've got around the place. And lots of nice ornaments and pictures. Look at that. This is your dining area. Again, lots of uh, artwork on the walls. <laughs> I like this sign. You know what? I need one of these at home. <laughs> if you want breakfast in bed tomorrow, sleep in the kitchen tonight. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Obviously, they've got the blinds closed, but when those are open, it'll be even brighter. What's through here? Bar 1820. And of course, you can purchase yourself a nice handbag or some jewellery. Cash sales only. £19 for a handbag. £10 for a purse. £10 for a bracelet. Angel Wings Tea Light, £5. And a few more there, look. So you've got some toilets just round here. There you go. Oh, lovely. Let's check out this bar. So the owner was telling me they've got lots and lots of alcohol-free drinks from gins, Guinness, you name it. Hot chocolate and coffees there. If you are drinking to forget, please pay in advance. <laughs> cash only at the bar, so if you are coming to stay here, make sure you've got some cash. But again, it's nice. Lots and lots of different lovely artwork and stuff on the walls. It's nicely decorated. They've done a good job. You can get a bottle of house wine here for £10. Breakfast is 8.30 to 9.30 day lift. Day lift? <laughs> I was reading tariff as I said day lift. Eight thirty to nine thirty daily. Oh dear. So this is room seven. So I'm starting with the smallest and working my way up. Nice and clean. It's cozy and it's comfortable. Tea and coffee. They do have uh, lots of special offers that run throughout the year here. So it's always best to check the website. So you've got some hand and body wash there. Let's have a look at the shower. Body wash there as well. It's nice and clean. So yeah, always best with the hotel to book direct, get in touch with them and check for offers. Let's go on to the next one. I think, I think he said there's about 20 rooms in this hotel. We'll go around the corner here. This one is room 11. So he was saying as well that for people that come here on their honeymoon, they do get upgraded for free. So this one is deluxe because you've got chocolates and bathrobes and slippers. That is nice, isn't it? Look at the bed. 
I've not even got, um, I'll get it right this time, earbuds and cotton wool. Do you remember when I filmed that caravan? And I said, oh, look, they, uh, they've they given you cotton buds and it was um, a diffuser. <laughs> oh, look, lovely big shower. Lovely and clean. Lovely. Hey, Mark. So now we're going around the corner where Mark is to this next one. This is number 10. Oh, very nice. It's amazing. Oh, look, the two donkeys. There's Mark and Kaylee. No way. <laughs> Chocolates again, so deluxe. There's your dressing gowns and slippers. Let's have a look. Yeah, you can tell that they're going to be spotlessly clean. Very clean. Very, very nice. Let's turn all these off. Let's turn off that one. Now where do we go next? We've done 11, we've done there. Uh, let's go down here. Down this way. Oh, I've just done that one. Oh, no. Down this way. Beautiful artwork. You've got a iron and board there. Where are you off, Mark? Oh, look at those flowers. So this is number 14, just round the corner here, look, is a nice little children's bedroom lot. Oh, I love that wallpaper, Mark, come and see this. Beach house. Mark, got a nice uh, child's room there, look. Very, very nice standard, isn't it? Let's have a look at this bathroom. Oh, I like that uh, yeah, toilet nice. seat lid. Oh, nice. Lovely shower, look at that. Right, so this is room 20 here at the Corona Hotel. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? And so this is, again, a deluxe room because I can spot the chocolates. Which means that, yes, you've got the dressing gowns, slippers, hair dryer iron, tea and coffee. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, wow. That shower is big. That's huge. Yeah, I know. It's massive. Right, let's move on to the next one, which I think is 25. Have you found it, Mark? Mark, where are you? <laughs> there you are. 25. It's the, the same throughout the hotel, isn't it? It's lovely and clean. The beds look really comfy. Um, yeah, I think this is a, a really nice hotel. There's a few creeks in places, but you know what? It's not a big problem, is it? It certainly wouldn't bother me. Look at the size of that shower again. Lovely and clean. And then just opposite is 24. And again, look at that. Oh, I really like that wallpaper. You've got a bit of a safari theme going on in here. Look at that. And an extra bed just behind us big TV. Now we haven't looked at the view yet in any of the rooms but look at that look what's at the end of the street there the big one that's a cracking view isn't it really nice hotel I definitely uh, give this one a thumbs up so the summary of Corona Hotel so the one thing that stands out to me straight away in this place, something that I really, really like, 
is the amount of artwork and ornaments that they've got round the hotel. It's not too much and it's not too little. I think it's perfect and I think it really gives that homey, cosy feel to the place. So would I come and stay here? Yeah, absolutely. It's spotless, it's comfortable. Uh, you've provided with everything you need. I like the little touches like the boxes of chocolates, although I can't eat them. But I think it's nice, you know, the slippers, the dressing gown, things like that. Um, great location. Um, the big one is, is there. Um, South Pier, again, just round the corner. So for a holiday maker, it's superb. And a bonus that some of their rooms are dog friendly as well. It's one thing I get asked a lot is hotels accept dogs. So do remember if you've got a small or a medium sized dog, telephone bookings only. Otherwise, if you turn up and you've booked online, you, you won't get in. But yeah, we give this uh, a thumbs up. And now we're gonna go over to Mark and see what Mark thinks about the hotel. So Marky Moo in the zoo. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so give me your honest opinion about the place. What did you like about it? And what would you say to anybody that wants to come and book here? So first, it is, it is nice. I like the looks of the beds, you know. I like, I like that strip on the bed and stuff. Yeah. And uh, the rooms are very clean. It's like, it, it is very clean in the rooms and stuff. And like the bathroom. Um, the other thing is, there's, there's two things. So number one, you know, like if you're vegan, you do have to, um, you have to like... You need to phone him and phone. let him know, yeah. Yeah. So that's the one point down, but that that's fine. That's only one thing. Yeah. Because you can phone and get stuff in. Um, but yeah, the, I don't know what to call it, like the decor is amazing yeah. downstairs. There's some plants, you've got a bar. Um, there's, a, there's like a rest, what do you call it? Like Dining room, dining yeah. Room. You've got a pool table there as well, haven't you? Yeah, it's a... It, it's, it's all right, you know, so I'll give it a, a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, that's not a bad score at uh, all. And you're next to Pleasure Beach. Yeah, that's got to be yeah. a plus point, hasn't it? So, Kaylee, what did you think about it? Uh, it's nice, I like this room, it's really cosy. I mean, you say cosy, but Kaylee was so cosy, guys, that she didn't even come upstairs to see the rooms. She just stayed here. Will we be able to get her home? Bye bye, bye, -bye. Kaylee, bye. She's so at home and so cosy that we have to leave her. Goodbye, Kaylee. Goodbye, cruel world. Okay, it might seem strange filming this, but isn't this wallpaper beautiful? Really, really lovely. Lovely standard here at the Corona.